Hey guys, out of triple five here, coming at you from Sydney Olympic Park. <laughs> I've got a, a new horn on my motorcycle. Ooh, where are you going, buddy? I've got a new horn on my motorcycle. It's um just down there, and I we've taken off the stock one, and it's it's they're pretty loud. It's all right. It's a air compressor horn. I picked it up of eBay. It is El Cheapo knockoff of another popular brand which I can't for the luck of me remember, but Mr. Editing will show it. Bing! <laughs> uh, so the cheap one, cost by roll, I think it was like $35, including postage. So I wasn't expecting much. Now, I've had it on this bike for probably six months now. Has not missed a beat, hasn't short-circuited out, hasn't gone a bit crazy or anything like that. It has been perfect. It has been the model citizen of a horn. Now I'm not going to toot it right now at all of these sharks and whatever they are supporters because there's a police car behind me. <laughs> it's alright, it's a shared zone. I can't beef at you. That's why I'm letting you across. Well the lighting's going to be terrible here. And I apologise, but you know, here's a bonus out of triple five sticker. Bimp! <laughs> this is my horn button. When I push that, the horn goes off. So on the normal bike, this is what the horn looks like. This little round thing. Bip. So, doo -doo -doo. look at this puppy. It is a big horn. It's got an air compressor and dual sounding sound majigima thiggies that go bump when you push the button. Now I wired it in myself, it does come with a relay that was very difficult to understand because it just wasn't laid out like every other relay tutorial on the internet. So basically when I wired this up, it was easy. Like, dead easy, once I knew what wire was what. It doesn't say anything in the instructions, what wire is what, so I had to use a voltmeter to work it out. I'm going to take this helmet camera off, so that way I can show you a bit more detail. This is the relay, it's plugged into the relay, um, I guess you'd call this the harness. This one here is the one of the, I think it's the positive from the horn, from the horn button, from the stock horn. I've just taped that up because I'm not using it. This is the other stock horn one, which is the negative. So when I push the stock horn button on the handlebars, it completes the circuit for the relay and it punches 12 volts through from the battery into the horn. This other one here is, uh, this red one goes into a black wire, which plug, plugs into the positive on the battery. So that's how it gets its power. So positive from the battery comes in through, through this red one, which is the thicker red on there, and goes into this side here, which is the, I think it's the 85. On the other side, that black loops around and goes to the other side. So this thick black that comes out of it, that one is what's going into the negative on the horn button. And then, the other two cables, the yellow and the red, plug into the bottom of the horn here. So I'm hoping that helps you out, but just to rehash it again, because it's confusing, the thick red one is 85. It goes to your battery. The thin black one is 87. It goes to the negative on your horn button. The other red and the yellow go to the horn. Let's plug this back in. So when you push the horn button, it completes the circuit on the relay and punches out 12 volts to your horn. And I've just taped up the stock horn tab for the positive, which I'm not needing, and I'm putting it all behind here, out of the way. Now, it doesn't come with this L-shaped bracket. I got that for 65 cents from Bunnings. And I think this screw here is the original screw, and this one is the screw that came with the horn and just zip tied this relay in and put another zip tie in here for safekeeping and another zip tie around here so this can't bounce up and it's all in there nice and secure okay from this side of the bike this is what the horn sounds like <laughs> that was pretty soft because i didn't hold it in no. all right let's do it a bit louder here we go three two one all right let's try this side Right up close. Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at the horn, even moves. Ready? <laughs> 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 
That is loud. And let me just get you close. Ow. That's bloody loud. Like, I'm not, I haven't got my hearing plugs in, and I probably want to have them in. We'll do that again. It's probably louder than the speaker is going to give it justice. Now I'll do another test from back here. And this is as far as I can reach. Alright, that's it for, for that quick video. Sorry it wasn't the most comprehensive, but YOLO, that'll do for now. So as usual guys, keep safe out there on the road, stand two wheels and not your head. If you need to get a horn to help you achieve that goal, then do it. 35 bucks on eBay, best 35 bucks I've ever spent to be honest. And it wasn't too hard to put in there once I knew where to put the wires and whatnot. Um, yeah, as usual, keeps. Oh. As usual, keep safe out there on the road, stay on two wheels and not your head, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Laters. Amazing, and they fit the bike great. Like, I did not have to do a single thing really. Well, I had to do one thing, but for them to fit. I could pull it out. Can you not see me there? Where are you going? What side of the bloody road are you on?